Last week we played our first away match against Sanford and lost 6-1. It was a tough defeat despite the fact that a lot of match scores were pretty close. I also picked up my first loss after 3 consecutive wins, falling to Kyle Kang 6-2 in the third. We were definitely motivated to try and turn the weekend around in our next match against Cal. So the next morning we drove over to Berkeley at a great practice session. The next day, after good breakfast, we were ready to go. I was back on court 3 for doubles and I'll say we started quite well as I was doing damage from the back and my partner Eddie was active at the net taking a lot of volleys. In our second return game we were really trying to look for some scorer pressure and were able to get to love 30 after they missed his passing shot. This point was crucial to try and set up some early breakpoint opportunities. As you can see it's a bit of a scramble but eventually we were able to pass them with this foreign in the alley which is one of my favorite shots to hit in doubles. We then convert those breakpoints as we pass them with another foreign line and we're now up 2-1. Every game was hard fought though and as you can see at 30 all the very next game we don't do quite enough to pass them so they get two chances to break us back. They go right at me with the back in return but I play a nice stick volley at his feet and then put away the smash to save the first one. On deuce we go for a body back and target and after the return once again we get a cross court foreign rally. But unfortunately our foreign is just wide this time, and so we're back to 2 all. There's always a lot of momentum shifts in doubles. As you can see here, they go up 30 love after breaking us back. And at this point, they're both at the net. We're just trying to look to break them down. And I was hoping I would get this ball so I could hit this exact foreign, which puts us back in the game. They still hold, however. And now it's the part of the match where it starts getting kind of tricky. Because if you get broken now, it's hard to catch up, as there's only one set in doubles in college. Some great volley action here by my partner who gets two touches and eventually puts away the smash. As a result of that they hold. At 3 all 30 all we get this opportunity but I miss the slice back and pull into the net. As a result of that they hold. A bit upset because we could have had a chance there but regardless the focus was on holding right now and that passing shot was a good starting point. We end up holding serve and at 4 all our match was abandoned as we lost on the other courts. So the doubles point was already done. This time I played at the number 3 positions in singles, and my opponent was Ryder Jackson, player from California. He doesn't have an ATP ranking as he only really played college matches, but his UTR was 13.02. I've played the guy before, I think 2 years ago, and he played similar to the way I remember. Pretty solid, doesn't give you much for free, and you need to get him on the move as early as possible to avoid him outgrinding you. As you can see this first point, I was still a bit fatigued from my last match, and not quite fast, so I knew it was going to be a tough match where I would have to work a lot. So nothing too different from my normal game, but also rushing would not be the best idea since my footwork wasn't amazing and that could have brought me many easy mistakes. Just moving him around with good pace like here was gonna be my best bet, and hitting great shots like this foreign definitely helped. Two routine holds for both in the opening games of the match, and their eyes were all quite long for my standards. I definitely didn't want to get stuck on the backhand's cross rally, where he was very comfortable. As you can see here I hit the slice line to try and get out of that and set up this 4 and one 2 combo which wins me the point. Good serves were going to help me a lot because I knew I didn't have the best legs. So hitting from inside the court on a plus 1 and put pressure straight away was massive. If you've watched a few of my previous videos on TikTok and Instagram you know that the key to my game is the inside in forehand. And this match was no exception because when I set it up well I could win the point the vast majority of the time. I get an opportunity for a break here at 2-all on a deuce point. I tried to immediately move him around with this foreign, but he was pretty good at defending, so that didn't get me too far. I kept pushing him side to side hoping he would play short. But he keeps the ball very deep every ball and eventually I shank this back end. At this point he turns things up a notch a little bit, as you can see he's more on the aggressive side. And I knew that I just had to stay deep and wait for my opportunities to turn it around. I finally get the chance for the inside in, and I go for it, and all that's left is just to put this back in away. At 3 all, I get another opportunity to break as he's serving volleys, and this back and lob will do it to go up 4-3. I really need to consolidate the break here, otherwise it can be trouble. After this inside in, it looks like I have the point in my hands, and he hits his sky lob, but not quite as I let him back into the rally. Some weird shots by him, such as this slice foreign, and then this back and moon ball. 
Followed by a heavy foreign, which set him up quite well, actually, unfortunately. So it's Deuce Point again. And I'll just let you watch this point because I have no comment, honestly. For all it is then. But again, more breakpoint chances next game, although I miss on the first one and this foreign just wide on the second one. The deuce points have been tricky for me this match so far, and this was no exception I'll say. I get foreigns only on this rally, but he's reading my plays well and eventually goes for my back end, which I miss horribly in the middle of the net. After a couple of holds each, we make it to 6 all. I managed to get an early 3-1 lead before this point and after this good return, I revert to just playing to my identity, setting up the approach. But then I put this ball at the bottom of the net. The next point though goes my way as he makes a rare back and mistake in the net. Switch at 4-2 and the score stays close. Before a 5-4 after this approach, I put the volley away. This first set point is enough to take the set, as he misses the return. The second set starts off roughly. I double fall at 15.30, giving him 3 break points. A good serve saves me from the first one, and a good serve plus one saves me from the second one. But in the deuce point, it wasn't gonna be that easy. As a matter of fact, the rally gets longer and he traps me on the backhand side, until again I miss in the net. I know I need to get this break back as soon as possible, because I need to be able to put some score or pressure on him to take this next set as well. However, I'm not doing too well with pace. I'm a bit slow and I'm not doing enough damage. It's also a problem for me when I get into these rallies, I sometimes just get stuck waiting. And here he hits a deep ball and I can't defend myself too well, and he hits the winner of the short ball. I do get a chance to break him on deuce point, but unfortunately that doesn't convert as he puts away this easy volley off on my return. At this stage he was moving better than me, and for that I was often on the run, or playing short. I play a decent passing charge here, but he plays a short volley and I just can't get there. He holds serve and I just have to keep doing my best to stay close with the score and open up some opportunities on return games, but holding was absolutely vital. I started to break down a bit in this point, and usually when my opponent approaches after such a long point I don't have a great chance of winning the point, but here I'm able to stay in it and pass him with this great, great back and cross. Finally, a 3-2 down, I gained some breakpoint chances, and this time I wasn't gonna let them slip away. I was just thinking about playing my game and being the most physical I could be, playing deep and with pace. I put his foreign cross right on the line, and despite his attempt to try and steal it, thankfully the ref overrules, so I break him back. The next game, the battle is on though. We are 30 all, and yeah, another long point. I gotta let you watch this one and judge for yourself. Yeah, so it was 30-40 now. As usual, I try to be aggressive, try to put pressure on him. However, I have to stay inside out this time and not go inside in. Uh, he throws up a lob and I hit a questionable volley. And from there I knew I was pretty much screwed. Very anticlimactically, my match gets abandoned after that. We lost 3 other singles matches in the meantime, which translated to a 4-0 loss. Yeah, definitely not the way I wanted my match to end. And not the way we wanted this weekend to go as a team. There's definitely a lot of work to do still and the team is fairly new so there's a couple of things to adjust and there's some massive areas for improvement. But it's also a very long season and we have many many matches ahead and many opportunities to take. Stay tuned as next week we return to our home courts and take on UCLA and let's just say that was a war.